Exactly a year ago with the Wolfpack pulling out an eight-point victory. Bulls looking for their first ever win against North Carolina State, and we are underway. Great crowd at the Yingling Center. That one goes out of bounds, and it will go back to the Wolfpack. Good communication on defense, right? You have so many bigs on the floor. Four and fives are huge for NC State. Be able to keep them in front, communicate with who's cutting through those screens. Inside it goes, and the turnaround is good for River Baldwin, the Alabama native, averaging about nine and a half per game. Wolfpack coming off a win over Liberty their last time out. They've had a few days between games, so they should be full of energy tonight. Here's the first shot for Blazig. It is contested well, and it's an air ball. And back the other way, the Wolfpack on the attack, and Baldwin will have a chance for a three-point play. And that really goes back to the opposite end of the floor, Jim, for the Bulls tonight. They're going to have to, if they get into a half-court situation, really work that shot clock in deep, make some extra passes, make things happen, because the Wolfpack love to get out the opposite way in transition and burn you with opportunities to hoop on the three-point play here. Well, the Bulls will look for ways to get Blazig open shots, Leah. She might be the most affected of any of the Bulls by the Sammy Puisis absence. Those two had a chance to go side by side just one time the last time out. Jumper no good. Levy kept it alive, but it's touch last by South Florida. They get into those passing lanes. You're going to have to have a lot of ball fakes tonight against them defensively. Into the paint it goes, and there's Baldwin again. She's got seven. South Florida seven and three on the season. Here's Brito with a three. Bulls a winner there last time out over Gardner Webb. A 100 point performance for the Bulls in that game. Here comes James. Strong baseline drive. Isaiah James averaging more than 16 a game. Levy trying to answer. And the Bulls get a defensive stop. Hands up. Hands up on that series, Jim. Anything you do to alter a shot. Everything but the hoop that time for Ariel Wilson. A great drive to the basket, but comes up empty. And on the other end, Zoe Brooks. She's got that acceleration. You can't go side by side with her and hope you're going to knock her off. Six-point lead for the Wolfpack. A perfect 10-0 on the season. Rolling three for South Florida. So the Bulls have hit a couple behind the arc to stay close here. Here's Baldwin. My goodness. Has had some good looks. Just hasn't gotten it to fall. They're going to need to make up those points, right? For Sammy, and it's got to be a combined effort by everybody. Brito near steal, but Brooks lines up with the ball. Bulls persist, and here comes Brito on the other end. Carla Brito. Carla was surprised too. And at Zoe Brooks, that that's that youthfulness, right? Zoe's got a flashback in and get in front of Carla. Carla taking advantage of it. Three is up and good. Both teams heating up from long range. Here comes Blazik working on Baldwin with the left hand. Brooks from the corner. And Litcha Shipholt with a strong rebound for South Florida. So you what, this is a solid effort defensively. Total team effort on defense right now for the Bulls. Getting in, getting in the paint, digging down, helping out with double teams. See if they can be rewarded here at the opposite end. Bulls holding their own on the boards. Also the Wolfpack, a plus 13 rebounding advantage. Perfect four for four from the floor. That's going to be a battle. 
between her and Aveline Litch's ship hold all night long. All night long. They're going to get up into each other defensively. And again, it's got to be a total team effort. No problem at all with a little body contact. Isaiah James makes it a four-point game. South Florida 7-3. and three. They have been hard for teams to handle at home. Levy hits from long range. Again, we talked about a total team effort. Coach Fernandez talking to us after the shoot-around today. Jim saying, we've got to have... Great pass inside, but they can't finish. Solid give and go action. We'll pack that back quickly, Jim, defensively. Good cut to the hoop there, just didn't fall. Collins with a nice move. Levy working the baseline and the whistles blow. That's going to be a traveling call. It will be turnover number two on the Bulls. There's a look at Vittoria Blasek working on the stationary bike, Leah. You saw what happened to her. Yeah, she pulled up on a trip down the floor toward the latter stage of that first quarter towards the end of it and uh, just trying to keep that muscle loose right now, working on the bike. Little difference between shot and game clock and the Wolfpack running both down here. And Levy fouls Brooks. Ten seconds to go. And a turnover. Brooks' pass a little bit wide. Alvarez takes a look at the clock, goes to the hoop. And the tap try, no good. Playing in a great league in the ACC. Again, this team was picked eighth in the ACC, and they are perfect so far through 10. Here's Brito into the paint, off the glass. Carlo Brito has seven to lead South Florida. That's a solid start. Start the second quarter. Just opportunity. Lacey Steele now in the game for NC State. Collins for three. And South Florida a chance to get a little closer here. And I'll tell you what, I like Maria Alvarez scanning the floor, Jim. She could have let that ball go and tried to thread it, didn't. But I still would have liked to have worked that ball into the shot clock there. Too rushed of a shot. Three on the other end, no good. And Litcha Shipholt with a rebound for South Florida. Ariel Wilson hit a three in the first quarter. She'll back it out. Bulls will get into the half-court offense. Levy with a tough turnaround. Romy Levy has had a good start. Collins from the baseline. And not many second chances on the offensive boards for the Wolfpack. Good box out there against Collier as well by Levy. Alvarez pulls with 10 to shoot. Levy pulls up. Butcher ship hold with an offensive rebound. Bulls doing a good job on the boards against perhaps the best rebounding team they'll play all year. Burrito dishes off and a foul call. Free throws coming up. Mallory Collier and Aveline Litcha Shipholt with the first free throws of the game for South Florida. Zoe Brooks is back in the game. She sends it to the baseline and the drive. Shot no good. And a foul on the rebound. Officials conferring there. Now we're ready to go with 20 on the shot clock. And Brooks will launch just that quick. Zoe Brooks from the corner. Shot clock running down for South Florida. Here's Brito with the runner and the whistles blow. And this will be an offensive foul, I believe, on Carla Brito. Let's see if they called that. They did. Yeah, I think, Jim, one of, one of the things for this bull squad tonight to think about is 
everybody just got to kind of do their their thing. Good to see Vittoria come back into the game. Um, you know, it, you understand what your role is. Don't try to overdo your role to compensate maybe for, for Sammy being out or for Blossom. You know, now with with uh, a little bit more of a wrap on that thigh area. Just everybody kind of do their thing together collectively. Don't overplay and overthink, but you got to come out on the perimeter and understand where their sharpshooters are from three-point land. Yeah, one more don't. Don't leave Zoe Brooks open from the three-point line. Back to a five-point margin. Brito, by the way, got her second foul, so she departed when Blazic came back in. And here's the freshman for the Bulls. That's partially blocked. And the Wolf Pack on the run. Asensio steps in, knocks it away from James. Steal one on one against Asensio, and Asensio is going to be called for the foul. And an offensive rebound as Baldwin slips in. And Brooks just able to save it in the front court. Steal by Gonzalez, South Florida in transition. Litcha Shipholt is fouled on the way back up. <laughs> Litcha Shipholtz to the free throw line. She's already got nine rebounds in this game. Staying steady on the boards with North Carolina State. Maddie Cox with her first touch gets it inside. Baldwin with the jump hook and she's still perfect. Asensio launches her first shot. And the rebound taken by Isaiah James. Brooks from three. And the offensive board, Madison Hayes with the put. Coach Westmore was anxious to play this game in a sense, but also thinking to himself, what had he done coming into this building where the Bulls have been so difficult at home? Alvarez with a three. And the rebound pulled down by Brooks. Bulls cooling off a little bit from three-point range. Had a couple early, but none lately. Second quarter, last time these two teams met was the difference. 21-8 in the second quarter. The Wolf Trap Pack trying to build on it. Ten-point margin, biggest of the night. Here's Blazic halfway down, but the Bulls' super freshman still looking to get started. One out of five from the floor. Maddie Cox in the game for the Wolfpack. Now James, boy, she is just exploding. Gonzalez coming back the other way. Bulls have missed their last seven shots. Blazic unable to connect. That might be the most. Nifty move by Brooks there. Gets free, gets the shot. And on the offensive board, it's Hayes. Ariel Wilson has returned for the Bulls, so has Burrito. Remember Burrito playing with two fouls, but she connects with a three. Women's game tonight. A lot going on. Month of December is one of our favorites for multiple sports going on at the same time. Here's Levy back in. She will take the quick jumper, and a foul is called. To get to the free throw line. One out of two for her. But Joe Whiteley of the second quarter against North Carolina State has been where things changed for the Bulls two years in a row. Defense! Defense! Inside it goes Baldwin. Shot clock single wow. digits. Brooks had it under control all the way. Acceleration. Brooks now with seven in this first half. Shot clock turned off, so the Bulls can play for one shot here. Blazic 
to the basket, cannot get the roll, and that's how the first half will end. Underway in the third quarter from Tampa. Bulls without Sammy Poises, knee injury out for the year. A block to start things off, Roma Levy. And a quick two, nice catch to be. Brooks almost taking that ball away. Running out of time here with seven to shoot. Blazek able to roll one in. Has had a little bit of difficulty tonight. She's got four, two for ten from the floor. Baldwin, her first miss of the night, but Collins there for the rebound, and she is fouled on the way. It's a huge opening and opportunities to cut to the hoop. And she stayed doing a good job of that tonight. Collins with her third point. Victoria Blazik, freshman. Conference freshman of the week this year. Three from Gonzalez won't fall, and the Bulls come up empty. Brooks gliding into the paint, rolls it in, has a chance. And going right at Danny Gonzalez, saying, I've got this. Look at the spacing. And easily just walking by Daniela Gonzalez. Just cradled that basketball, getting it off the glass. Made it look easy, and it wasn't. You can see her triple-double. That was just the second in the 50-year history of North Carolina State women's basketball. Fifteen-point margin here, third quarter. Bulls having a hard time finding shots. Here's Blazic. That's a three for South Florida. That's her first of the game. Blazic starting to heat up a little bit. She's got seven. Collins hits the shot. Gonzalez hoping to draw the offensive foul, but no whistle. Blazic trying to create a little space. Gonzalez. Probably the most difficult shot she's made all season, too, Jim. Didn't even use the backboard on that one. Baseline drive. Nice move to the basket. Madison. Back to a 14-point margin. Gonzalez launches a three. Daniela Gonzalez in another dimension, too, tonight, Jim. We talk about everybody chipping in. And right back at you. Ariel Wilson pulls up. Three is short. And Baldwin clears the boards. Gotta get baited into that play, right? You're on you're on the run. You've got the trail. Chicago will have a Friday afternoon game right before the holidays playing Albany. The women play in West Palm and then why not? carry on the fun and go to the football game the following day. Into a groove shooting wise offensively. Good little battle there with Mitchell Collins. Here's Blazic just looking for some room. Now Lucha Schiphol. James with a three. Baldwin. And now Brooks will set things up. Late third quarter here, Wolfpack looking for their 11th straight win as Collins. Baldwin actually helped create a little bit more of that spacing on that play. Asensio around the screen and her jumper is good. Even though she didn't touch the basketball, creating that semi-block through that screen, good job. 6-3 6-3 of the night for South Florida. You want to make sure you get some contact and help out your teammate. Well done on that play. 
Two and a half to go, third quarter. Collins going to work. Now James off the glass. Run the floor so well, you think you've got a chance at some fast break opportunities and you look up and all those red jerseys are just waiting for you. Absolutely. Get back quickly. Only three fast break points for the Bulls tonight. Final minute of the third quarter. Zoe Brooks. Ten to shoot. Baldwin, wow, what great ball movement, and Baldwin scores again. Very mobile for her size, no doubt about it. Baldwin now with 16, including 7 of 8 from the floor. Lynch's ship hold with a buzzer beater. Good-looking jumper for her. And that'll end the third quarter. North Carolina State with a 14-point lead. They now have a plus nine in rebounding. As we mentioned, they came in averaging 13 rebounds per game more than their opponents. Zoe Brooks doesn't draw iron, but look at the hustle from Maddie Cox. It goes out of bounds. When you watch on the floor, but so explosive, very exciting. Young player. Wilson kicks it inside. Levy with a difficult turnaround. We've talked about that. against the Virginia squad that uh, took a tumble today. A couple upsets in the in the uh, games played on this Saturday afternoon. She knows exactly where she is and has so much confidence as she turns and faces up and releases that basketball. She has 11 tonight for the Bulls. Alvarez trying to get started <laughs> off the glass. Bulls starting to warm up a little bit from long range at 30%. James to the basket. 70% free throw shooter is Isaiah James. She's a native of Virginia. Get this lineup and say, who do I try to shut down? Right. Because if you can successfully neutralize. Now Carla Brito has been quiet lately. Off the mark with that one. Brooks and Hayes back and forth, and now the Wolfpack will take a little time here. We're under seven minutes remaining. Through the basket, Hayes with another strong move. Said she didn't like playing there. She loves playing there now. Alvarez with a three right in front of us. Steal to the baseline, dragged her foot, it's a trap. Alvarez lines up another three. Lich's ship hole trying to grab that ball, but it comes down to the wolf back. And, you know, Jim, it's unfortunate. Three, three shots recently by the Bulls. All good looks, unfortunately unable to fall. Mimi Collins making it hurt there. Brito trying to get that ball to Lich's ship hold. The Wolfpack more than happy to run a little clock here. Now Brooks puts it in motion with five on the shot clock. And Brito the rebound. Ariel Wilson into the paint. High off the glass. How about that? Obviously, things didn't play out a little bit differently, but uh, NC State just as solid from the line as well. short. Alvarez creates a little space, can't hit the jumper, and now the Wolfpack have Bulls are going to fall to 7-4 and four on the season. Wolfpack will be 11-0. and 0. James, through traffic, draws the foul, and the state team stands out as well. And, and, and again, this is a team that's picked 8th in the ACC. Well, Wes Moore has them playing some great basketball right now. Baldwin with the offensive rebound. Bulls try to tie her up.
Levy gets cut off, gets it to Burrito. Now Alvarez, another open look, leaves it a little short. Rebound North Carolina State, and they will be able to run this thing out. The Wolfpack, number three in the nation, come up with a 12-point victory in Tampa tonight.